Good. Uh, obviously the big news is that we got sued. Uh, I think this is the first time it's ever happened in the history of boxing. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into one of the biggest boxing stories of the year. Ryan Garcia, the young and rising star, has finally broken his silence on Devin Haney's shocking lawsuit, accusing him of fraud and battery. Let's break down what happened and see what Garcia has to say. 8. So let's rewind a bit. You remember that epic clash between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney? Yeah, that fight, the one that had us all on the edge of our seats, watching every jab, every hook, and every move. For a hot minute, it looked like Garcia had pulled off the victory of a lifetime. Everyone was hyped. The dude was on top of the world. But then, bam, controversy struck. It all started when news broke that Garcia had tested positive for a banned substance. I mean, bro, it was wild. Just when we thought this chapter was closed, the fight got overturned into a no contest. That decision basically blew up on social media, with fans taking sides and conspiracy theories flying all over. I mean, this fight left everyone speechless. Ryan came and knocked Devin Haney down. Not one, not two, but three times. No one saw that coming. So it only made sense there was more to this than it let on. Fast forward a few months, and Devin Haney wasn't just gonna let it slide. He came out with a lawsuit against Garcia, accusing him of fraud and battery. That's right, Haney is saying Garcia knowingly juiced up to get an unfair edge. And not only that, he's claiming Garcia physically assaulted him during the fight, beyond what's considered, you know, within the rules. And honestly, it's not like Haney was pulling any punches in that press conference. He looked mad, like he's really out here trying to make a statement. He wants justice, and he's taking it to the courtroom. But does he have a case? That's the real question. Now, for the first time since all this chaos started, Ryan Garcia is finally speaking out. And y'all know Garcia, he's not one to hold back. Garcia's side of the story is that the banned substance came from a contaminated supplement. And look, we've heard this story before, right? Contaminated supplements are like the go-to excuse. But is it true? That's what everyone wants to know. But hey, Devin is going with the lawsuit, and there isn't much Garcia can do about it, but talk. So let's hear what more he has to say about Devin Haney. So I live rent-free in his head, that's no debate. Uh, he's definitely questioning his manhood every second, every moment of his life. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to come back from this, but again, like I said, I can't talk too much. I actually am going through a legal lawsuit, which is hilarious. If I didn't drop him in the 11th round, that fight would have been stoned. Bill Haney, Devin's dad and trainer, finally broke his silence on the lawsuit. And let me tell you, he came in hot. Bill went off calling out Garcia and questioning his character, which only made things messier. Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions were awarded $1 million for damages for the fight Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. I asked uh, one question, is why would Oscar De La Hoya and, and Golden Boy Promotions receive $1 million in damages? What damages did they occur? For that, Devin Haney Promotions and me, we thankful to Devin Haney and stepping up and allowing us to do our job with Devin Haney Promotions and sue the entire outfit. So with that saying, the suit stands and Hall of Fame promoter Bob Aaron, I'm ashamed that you as an attorney also would advise that fighters don't sue. I mean, haven't you been sued before? Marvin Hagler, uh, Terrence Crawford, um, you know, so welcome to boxing. 
and the Devin Haney era. Of course, Ryan wasn't about to stay quiet. He clapped back hard, taking shots at Bill and making it clear he's not backing down. Now, it's not just Devin versus Ryan, it's the whole squad beefing. The trash talk is real, and it's turning into an all-out family feud with both sides going at it like there's no tomorrow. Let's break this down. First up, the fraud claim. Devin's saying that Garcia intentionally used a banned substance to get an edge over him. But Garcia's team is like, nah, it was just a mistake. They're blaming it on a contaminated supplement. But here's the catch. If that's true, they gotta prove it. That means showing receipts, lab tests, and all that stuff. Then there's the battery allegation. Haney's saying that Garcia went too far during the fight, that he was doing things that were straight up illegal. But like, isn't boxing supposed to be violent? I mean, these dudes are literally trying to punch each other's lights out. So what exactly does Haney mean by battery? That if you, if you tested negative the whole way through and then all of a sudden you test positive, obviously it's tainted. This is not like, you don't have to think about it too much. And anybody who's that guilty, it's, bro, it's clear as day, bro. It's clear as day. No, it's clear as day to see that you weren't cycling through nothing, bro. For you to have and straight guess what? And guess what? There's some speculation that Haney's talking about a specific moment during the fight, like an elbow or an illegal hit that went unnoticed by the ref. If there's video evidence backing up Haney's claim, then yeah, it's game over for Garcia. But if it's just Haney's word against his. It's gonna be a tough sell. And hey, we all saw that fight. There was no illegal shot. Ryan was just wiping the floor with Haney. And now with the lawsuit coming in, you could say Devin Haney's ego got hurt real bad. Eddie Hearn also gave Ryan his props for getting the job done with Haney. Not to mention, Haney is making a comeback soon and Eddie set the record straight. Devin Haney should not rematch Ryan Garcia for his own sake. You know, I think Devin should be coming back in at the end of the year in an easy fight. Like that was a tough fight against Ryan Garcia. Come back, you know, maybe a catch weight between 140 and 147. Um, but yeah, you know, obviously very close to Devin and love to see him back in the game. Is he going to be with Paro in Australia? I don't think so, no. no. Would you guys go into the rematch with Ryan right away? That's up to Devin. Yeah. You know, my advice, no. Tank Davis couldn't resist jumping into the mix, finally breaking his silence on the whole lawsuit drama between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. And in true Tank fashion, he didn't hold back. Dude was straight up clowning Devin for filing the lawsuit. Tank was out here basically calling the whole thing weak, making it sound like Devin was just looking for an excuse because he couldn't handle things in the ring. Are you standing with Ryan Garcia over this? How come you stand with Ryan Garcia over the failed tests? See, that, another thing. I, you know why I'm backing Ryan? Because a lot of boxers going at him. What, when we fought, we made it cool, not saying like, but we made it cool to go at Ryan like that. Ryan is not somebody that, that, that he really like confrontation, you know? So for people to like go at him, I feel as though, and you see how soon as they, why didn't it take 30, I mean, um, 72 hours for the test to come back, right? It came back after the fight, yeah. Right. So why didn't it come out that Tuesday or that week next? They waited to Canelo fight to uh, to push that he had something in his drug. Then once they pushed that, Devin and them was on ESPN that night. Look, everyone's got an opinion, but the truth is, no one knows what really went down except these two and their teams. What do you guys think? Is Garcia guilty or is Haney reaching? Guess we gotta wait and see to find out more. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.
And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.